Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Mike, the creator of Junkbox AI, and today I'm going to share with you some fun ways to use Runway ML. For those of you who don't already know, Runway ML is pretty much a really cool video or photo editing software that allows you to do some amazing things with some AI tools that aren't possible anywhere else. One thing to mention though is that Runway is a paid program, so you are going to have to create a subscription and buy some credits to use their software. But trust me, it's totally worth it. The part of Runway that I'm going to be focusing on mainly today is the Gen 2 software, which allows you to create video with images or text, or both. For the sake of this tutorial, let's just start with text. So you're going to click this button here, and then it's going to bring you to this page. Use text to describe your scene and how it moves. Pretty much it's kind of self-explanatory. You can just type in whatever you want to imagine. Runway will do a really good job of creating a really high fidelity, high quality image that you can use for the video creating process. I've been thinking about making a Mel Gibson, Santa Claus themed action movie trailer. So I wanted to use Runway to help me do that. Make sure you guys stick around. At the end of this tutorial, I'll show you guys the finished video that I put together. So I'm gonna start off just by typing in Mel Gibson dressed as Santa Claus holding a gun on Christmas night. I know that sounds a little crazy, but if you guys follow my Instagram page, I do crazy kind of celebrity themed animations all the time. So I think this one would fit right in with my current portfolio. After you type in your prompt and you're happy with what you have written down, you could even go and press free preview. This will give you four generations of what you can expect to see in your video. And you could actually even click one of them if you're really happy with a specific one and it will guide your animation into that specific direction in terms of shapes, colors, and compositions. I'm personally not gonna use any of these previews. I'm just gonna let the AI kind of do its thing. But before we generate this video, I wanna show you guys a couple more more things. Uh, one thing mainly is camera motion. I love using this tool. It, it allows you to kind of apply a physical camera motion to your animation or video. I think it would be cool to have the camera kind of zooming in to Mel Gibson's face. So I'm going to go over to the camera motion tab and you'll notice you have four different options. One for horizontal movement, one for vertical movement, one for the roll, and one for zoom. So I, I want to use the zoom, so I'm just going to press the plus button on the zoom. And then this down here will control the speed of the motion. So if you have this set to 10, it's going to be a very fast zoom. This can also lead to like more unpredictable artifacts or elements in the animation that you didn't type in the prompt. It's best to kind of start off at the default five because that'll give you just like kind of a subtle movement. And then if you feel like you want more movement from there, you can always regenerate and same thing for less. So I'm gonna save that setting there. Uh, over here, you can also add a style to your generation like cartoon, anime, cinematic, claymation. You can click one of these options here and it'll apply that art style to your specific generation. This is cool if you're trying to make something that requires multiple scenes and it needs to have the same art style all the way through. You can pick one of these art styles and ensure that it has some kind of continuity. So I'm pretty happy with my prompt and I'm also happy with the motion that I applied. So I'm pretty much ready to click generate. And for now, you're able to get four second videos using this software. But the good news is when you're finished generating your animation or video, you have the option of extending it another four seconds. And I'm pretty sure you could do that a couple times. It only takes a couple minutes for your generation to render, and then you'll have a preview here in your desktop. So we'll give this some time to load. In the meantime, you guys can go over to Junkbox AI on Instagram and make sure you guys follow. If you guys aren't already subscribed to my YouTube, please consider subscribing. I'm going to be putting out a bunch more content that has to do with some of my favorite AI software. If you guys want to see something specific in my next animation, please feel free to suggest some things in the comment section and I will definitely get around to it. All right, so it looks like our generation is just about finished up and as you can see you have the play button here and it already looks pretty amazing it's gonna press play and see what we got here and wow that looks freaking amazing it literally looks like a scene out of an action movie where like he's about to say something badass before he shoots the bad guy it's just really really good really clean I love it. So if you want to continue to extend it right over here, you'll see the extend button. You can press that and it'll extend it an extra four seconds. If you're happy with this specific animation or video, you can press the download button that's found right here at the top of the video and then just choose where you want to have it saved to. I'll save mine to my desktop for now. 
And then you can see it here in full screen. Like I said, the quality is really good with Runaway, especially with the new updates that they've been doing. Yeah, that just looks awesome with some music and some sound effects and some establishing scenes. Yeah, that would be really cool for an action trailer. All right, so another part of this that I wanna show you guys is if you go back to the start, there's a really cool feature on here that you can pretty much create the same thing we just did, but just with your own photo as the initial seed image to start with. So we're gonna press start with image, and then here you'll be prompted to upload a file or just simply drag it in. I already actually created a really cool image using Mid Journey, and I imagine this to be Mel Gibson's car that he gets around in when he's fucking shit up in this action movie trailer. I'm gonna save this image to my downloads folder. What's really cool about starting with an image is you actually have the option of using multiple different aspect ratios, like you can do 16 by nine or nine by 16 if you wanna have vertical videos. You can't actually do that with text to image generations yet. You might be able to do that in the future, but for now, that's only available by using the image to video feature. Now that I have my initial photo uploaded into Runway ML, I can control my camera motion. I could also control the general motion of the animation over here. Once you add in your image, you can click over to image plus description. For this, I want it to look like the car is driving forward maybe. So I'm gonna write red Mustang driving forward on a snowy street. We're going to put a subtle zoom backwards on this specific scene. For that, we're just gonna press camera motion and then press the minus button in the zoom option. We will keep the speed relative to the last one. I was pretty happy with that camera movement. So we can just press save. Like I mentioned before, if you want to, you can open up the motion brush panel and this will actually allow you to draw over a specific part of the photo to apply motion to specifically instead of having motion applied to what would normally be the entire photo. Opening up the motion brush panel, you'll have this little purple circle here. What you can do is just click down and then drag over the area that you want motion applied to. You can either have the motion go horizontal, you can have it go vertical, or you can have it do a proximity type of motion. Let's try going with horizontal and we'll push it left. Let's just see what happens. This is just one feature that Runway ML allows you to use, but it is capable of so much more. I use it in a lot of ways to help me with my traditional editing. Sometimes it's just a lot quicker using an AI tool than it is using a traditional tool. Okay, so my generation just finished rendering and now I can press play. Let's see what we have. Oh, that's so smooth. This is actually pretty cool and it has a very similar quality to the first generation that we did, so I'm happy about that. I'm gonna keep it. You just press the download button like you normally would. As you can see, this software is amazing and you can do so much with it, starting with either absolutely nothing or an image that you took or generated from another software. This could be a great way to do some advanced storyboarding or even just make some content for social media. Um, I wasn't asked to do this video, I just simply wanted to show you guys a program that I have ton of fun using and if you guys watch this and then make something really cool using runway tag me in it i'd love to share it in my story on instagram or my community section over here on youtube thanks for watching peace it was the night before christmas and all through the house the creatures were staring this christmas season someone is making a list He's checking it twice. He's gonna find out who's naughty or nice. Mel Gibson, starring as Saint Nick in Jingle Hells, Return of the Dead.